I don't see anything. There it is! Hey! 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 Thank you for joining us for another edition of Issue Night. If you've never seen this show before, we inform, we talk about important and serious issues. We uh, instruct, we educate, um, we cover things, Tony, that you just normally don't hear anywhere else. Yeah. Um, if uh, on YouTube, uh, I think you're supposed to uh, ring a bell and you're supposed to subscribe. So make sure you do those two things before you're finished watching tonight. Okay, why don't we get on our first set of issues and uh, we'd like to get all these <laughs> mini eclipse issues. <laughs> mini, mini. Bite size. As some of you know, um, we had a total solar eclipse. Um, some of you out there ran through your state, others it didn't, hmm. but it ran through our state here. So, um, but unfortunately, it was cloudy. We didn't see a lot. However, um, what people are now seeing and what they're now realizing that not only is there like a solar eclipse where we have the moon in front of the sun. Mm -hmm. That's right, Jay. Like, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Um, yeah. There's actually mini eclipse happening. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, it was really popular around here. We had a lot of tourists mm -hmm. and a lot of people, you know, coming out to see the eclipse or not see it as, as the case may be. But it... Mm -hmm. But the the after effect is is pretty phenomenal. So there there's some follow up eclipses, eclipse eyes, mini eclipses, Tony. Right, but mini eclipse eye happening. Eclipse eye, eclipse eye. So mm -hmm. yeah, so um, you think about it, you know, like there are people, all these people came because the sun is in front of the moon. Oh, no, no, moon, the moon's in front of the sun. Fun. So now they're like, well, we can create our own little little mini eclipse events. You know, like uh, like I can get my car. Like here, Jay, try this real quick. Okay, do, yeah, do, yeah, do this with me, Jay. So take, you know how you're doing that before. Put that that sun in front of your face. Put it in front of your face. My face or your face? Put it in front of your face. Okay, like this one on TV or my face right here. Would you really need it in front of both eyes? Like look at look at the camera, and when it disappears, no, not two suns. We don't have two suns in this. Or two moons. It disappeared. Okay, good, good. Now start keep pulling it away from your face, and tell me when you can see the camera, Jay. Okay, just tell me when. I can okay? see it. Okay, good. Right, right there. Right, right. Yeah. So that that's a partial eclipse, okay? When you when when you saw when you see the camera, when you yeah. see the camera, it's a okay. partial eclipse. Now, what we want to do is a mini eclipse. We want to have like a a vehicle that drives in front of you and blocks the sun. Like you want to sit down low and have a vehicle. Now that's an eclipse, right? You can't see the sun. So well, is a total mini eclipse or a total a mini partial for eclipse? for you? It's a Full eclipse. Full eclipse, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So and, you and could, the reason we're doing this is because... Well, because you can invite people over to your house and say, hey, we're going to have an ecl mini eclipse event. Okay, uh, let's show And also, and also yeah, be, because it happened so fast. I don't know if right. you and saw You also want to get use out of your glasses. You know, you, you paid your $6 or $2 or that's however true. much you paid for them. Yeah. And you get one use out of it for the right. next 20 years. You want to... People are really trying to, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle, right. get, get, get more use out of these... Okay. Uh, devices that okay, they so I, I'm, I'm on board. This makes sense to okay. me. But can you show the picture, Mike? Uh, I don't uh, know what picture you're talking about. Uh, there's here. I'll I'll bring it up. Uh, it's, where is it? It should be this one. So, okay, I don't I don't so know where that is. If we're able to, to do that? it, we have. Uh, oh. like, this oh, yeah. is someone. I don't right. know if he's. Well, putting something. He's putting the bright. sun in the trunk. So this is a bad okay. example. He's, he's actually putting. He's actually putting the sun well, into the car. Well, he can't put the sun in there, but probably what he did, he welded something. And it's still like got the welder's arc. Well, he's got, he's kids, got I you thought, should never touch. You he, should always wear gloves. I don't know if he's got gloves on. I don't know if he has hands anymore. Gee, but he, you he's, shouldn't. he's actually touching the sun and putting it in. So if the, no, no, no. If I think, the sun's in the vehicle, is that an eclipse though, or is that just an, like an enclosure? It's one way to do it. And he wants to move the sun in order to set up. A, like he's remote, like trying to be remote. Like okay. I can bring the sun here, and then I can put it out, and then bring my yeah, car. Tony, you in. need special gloves. You can't just. You know, yeah, to do like you can't just throw it in your hatchback. I think he's well, I think he's pushing the car. I think he pushed the car to move it for the eclipse. I don't think he, he's moving the sun there. Well, I he's got his hands. Just, look at his hands. Yeah, right well, is I mean is I think doing that? I think that the the sun. This might be a stretch. It might 
not be right there. It might be a little bit farther away, and it might be a, a, a trick on our eyes here. Okay. I don't know. but I, I think he's actually putting the sun in there, and that's part of his spiel. If okay. you will, spiel, if you will, spiel, spiel. Yeah. And so he, he does, he can move it. And that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about mm-hmm. generally moving your car in for the sun. Like and who, wait who a minute. I, I'm on. saying that's what he just did though. I he's think that not... he's pushed that car. So, you know, the moon doesn't stay in front of the sun. I think he's trying to recreate that so that, you know, you could see the Corona. I, I think he's, car- I think he's doing the mini eclipses on the road. So he's right. taking it. That's what I was thinking. From place to place. Well, right. The problem is, okay, so if you're going to put, this is radioactive, right, Tony? Am I right about no, that? No, it's not at all. It's not radioactive at all. It's like a fusion. It would kill you. I mean, does it matter? Well, it, kill the, you or not? it matters because he's got two small coyotes behind him okay. that I think they're going to go in the hatch back there. Uh, where is it? Uh, uh, and I don't know if you can, oh, if that's allowed. They, can those you aren't put coyotes. Those are small kangaroos. coyotes Kangaroo. I think they're yeah. kangaroos. with some yeah. type of nuclear fusion device in your car i don't think that's allowed tony you can't well there's definitely can't. like solar flare stuff hitting you yeah at that point i mean grace but he's got asbestos gloves on i think right grace and says on the chat coyotes. um that they do make vehicles sunproof now oh. ever since uh the first eclipse back in 2017 i think that's been a technological advancement that right. they've been working on you know because people want to take a little p- piece of the sun with them right you know a little piece of an eclipse with them i think that's part of what okay that was. so grace is saying they make they make now vehicles. You could do this with vehicles now. You can put radioactive nuclear fusion devices like in your. I don't think this is a good idea. Like I don't. We are going to be talking about EV enhancements later, Jay. I believe next issue. But and why are my glasses messed up? Okay. Um, so uh, what, what I want just want to say something about this car thing is, let's just go back to the original because in this picture really, you know, obviously, we sit down. You know, you had the person in the car, you have the sun, you can see the sun, and you the person backs the car in front of the sun slowly because you want to get the feel like, oh, well, it's getting darker. It's getting darker, right? And it right. will get darker. Right. Wait, do you need glasses for this, Mike? You could, because you are looking at the sun, you should wear glasses. So, so you need the eclipse glasses or do you need car blocking the sun glasses? If you There's have two types out there. I know, okay, well, is the sun coming through the windows of the vehicle when you're backing up? You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like, is it? As you're backing up, is is the sun like if it's going through the window, you're gonna oh well this is a partial eclipse. Right? Well, if the window's tinted, Tony, do you need do you need the eclipse glasses if the sun's coming through the tinted? Well, window, they got the need... the different codes. I think it's ANSI, so you got the ANSI one glasses and then the enhanced ANSI two glasses. So probably the two because there's two two different issues there. Right, that's too bad because those are the more difficult ones to get. But mm. yeah. They're yeah. pricier, mm-hmm. but um, all right. So this is the problem. Like people, like around here, it was cloudy, and people are frustrated over that. So now they're creating their own eclipses. I don't even know if we have the right glasses. I th- have a feeling we're gonna have eye damage, you know, from people trying to create solar eclipses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jay, I'm not really interested in that. Actually, uh, what I was thinking about was, um, you know, a lot, a lot of times you have photo bombers now, Jay. You know, like people who oh, uh, come like, in and they eclipse bombers and like mini those, eclipse bombers. Those kangaroos. They like the kangaroos, but like you have a little kid who has like a, a baseball and you're like you're enjoying a sunset with your wife, you know, and all of a sudden the kid comes up and, you know, goes like this. Why would he do that? So that he can create a, a, like a photo bomb eclipse. Like suddenly I can't see the sun. Okay. So he's got a camera with him or does he. No, he's got like a, a ball or a mouse, you know. Oh, yeah. Where'd he go? Yeah. Help me. Wow. Yeah, that is so that see, is effective. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's eclipsing you. Okay. So, but he's not taking a picture. He just wants to do that. Without... Just to bother you, like you just like. But they're okay. like. Why do creating... Why do teenagers do anything, Jay? Well, For attention. No idea. Yeah. It's not really a bother. I mean, it's an enhancement. You're You're giving somebody a free eclipse he's probably trying to get money for 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 doing it or something right sometimes for views on maybe stream i mean mean, does does the teenager put the glasses over the people's eyes before he does that so they don't get well they're already looking at the sun right they're enjoying the sunset so it's probably later in the day okay you know so you're you're already looking so that's the the ANSI three glasses where you don't really need the full is that ANSI american national standards institute you could say that. 
Yeah, they're you know they're getting creative too. Like you know, there's the Mister Softy eclipse. Oh. So he's like, hey kids, come see the Mister Softy eclipse. But it's just a ruse to get ice cream. All it is is really the sun behind Mister Frosty, and it just kind of clash. It's just a shadow, yeah, right, right? You know, it's not like the picture, like Mister Frosty you know, trying to put a sun in there. He's just like you get there, and then he's like, hey kids, is he actually cream. moving, Mister Frosty? Does he walk? Well, the he's Mr. Fry. He drives a truck. That's all I know. Is that Mr. Softy? Um, you know, do 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 do. Okay, I you're right. That guy. You're right because there's there's Mr. Frosty, and then there's Mr. Softy. I think Mr. Frosty was arrested or something. It just he has a record. So kids, stay away from Mr. Frosty. It's Mr. Softy. That yeah, the, he's the okay. ice cream truck. Yeah, guy. yeah. It's like, he's he was like the Walmart off-brand version. Yeah. of Mr. Softy, and it he just was. didn't go well. You yeah. know. Yeah. Um. All right. Hey, hey before we get, uh, I, I just before we go any further, Jay, um, I got some. I, I cooked up some liver. Like I, I bought a cow. I seriously I just bought a cow, and I, I cooked up liver. Tony, I know you like liver. Oh. I just fried this up today. Oh, okay. So I don't know if you want to. Well, good thing I brought toothpicks. Actually, I honestly, I, I cooked up cow tongue today too, and uh, <laughs> it did not turn out. So okay. I'm giving it to dogs, but this liver did turn out. You could so. save and make a mini right clips here. out of it. Like, you want to so. try it, Tony? It's, uh, it's, it with my olives. <laughs> Yeah, she. Okay, I just thought you should try it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. If you just join us, you're watching Issue Night. We talk about important and serious issues of the day. And uh, today's no the exception. No exception. When we get our, our next set of issues, which we call <laughs> the EV enhancements. Enhancement. So periodically ah. on the show, we um, talk about the latest in EV technology. Enhancements. Tone. Stop eating uh, here because you gotta. You gotta. Explain let them try. Way. Let them try the liver. First time I ever cooked it. Tastes like liver. It, yeah. Okay, you don't have to eat Good it if you don't want to, but I did, I did cook it for you. Um, yeah, so we've talked about the EVs in the past, and we talked about some of the accessories, like the the um, the glove box acts as a toaster oven, the seat belt acts as a defibrillator, mm -hmm. uh, the makeup mirror can you know give you some tanning. Sure. So a lot of you know extra things can come with it. Uh, but now that, you know, EVs, uh, now that there's plenty of electricity to go in these things and the batteries are so efficient and, and can carry so much electricity, now we're, we're wondering what should we do with all this electric, uh, extra course. electricity that we're driving around with. And uh, so we're starting to see people put those big sign, you know, the, the light up signs that are on your front lawn. You know, like, I have a light like, up sign on my front lawn. Yeah, it says like drink it, Pepsi. It says yeah, like you know Erie County Fair. Uh -huh. You know, I'm next advertising month. the fair. That's yeah. So now you can put it on your car. And the use fair the on your car. The ba the whole sign, and you can drive around and advertise and make money off of this thing. And then if you want, you can have people follow you. And you know those big spotlights? You don't see much anymore, but the big spotlights in the, yeah. you know. Well, put that on your car. In Gotham. They have right, also, yeah. yeah. So you got that going. And so you got all these people with their EVs driving around with all these extra light-up things. Okay. Which is, you know, pretty Is that handy. a hazard? Is that a hazard at all? You know, nowadays when you're driving down this... Like you can't tell if some people have their brights or just their normal headlights on from just how yeah. how bright they are, you know. And you flash the brights, so they turn off your brights, and then they flash their brights back at you. And then before you know, it, you're in a ditch on the side of the ninety. So you yeah, know. I, th I think you'd have to get to like too, so. extra liability insurance in case one of those spotlights. Like if it if it's doing this, that's fine unless you're an airplane. But if you're a car and it comes down at you. It'd be like looking at so, an eclipse. So that last issue where the guy was, we still have that up, don't we? The guy was that, so he actually has a little portable, he's creating a sun, like a, uh, some sort oh. of, he's creating the sun with his EV car. Is that what's going on with this again? Is that what's yeah, happening? I'm, yeah, that's a quint I mean, we thought that maybe he was. That's a quintessential EV car. Exactly. Oh. Quintessential. Okay, so Buffalo Lifesavers is wondering, do these EV vehicles now with this extra energy and she made a good point that the other point she made was, you know, could we harness the mini eclipses and get extra power? Right, Tony? You should be able to do that with the mini eclipse. Well, I think that's how they're powering the EVs now. Because okay. before there wasn't enough power, but now there is. So Okay, before you used to have to plug in your EV 
and made sure you had a windmill and then and then but plug in the windmill and then and then you can yeah plug in your car but her point is can you use some of this power to shoot at enemies that are chasing you like say you have you know i mean i understand i don't know if i have enemies like that but i mean some people do and they're like hey can i can i just have a little self-defense here and just just can this shoot something at them like hook up a laser or something yeah that's a second like an optical laser you know maybe just like maybe a laser pointer but like one a little brighter that just points at their eyes and they're like oh whoa hey maybe a bad idea chasing this person yeah Yeah. that's a bad idea like a mini nuclear fusion device or something something that you know you can power that i mean well i don't know what what are we looking what are we looking to do a hatchback for what do we need all this we have all this power do we need to use it i mean you know it's well yeah it's the thing is what do we do with it now um, well, you can sell it back to the utilities, but in order to do that, you got to run a wire out to your car, and as, they as they got to hook it up. Yeah, so as you drive, you got to make sure you have a big spool of wire. Mm. So, like before our last issue, we showed the guy putting the sun or whatever that thing was in the back. You can't do that because you're gonna have a spool of wire. So as you drive, you're creating electricity. It's running through the wire to the utilities. And you're making a little money, but you got to make sure your spool is really big because you're only going to go like probably three miles before it runs out, mm-hmm. you know? So, and then you got to maybe back up or turn around. We talked about the kid who has to be in the car. We talked that last night. You got to roll it up Yeah, you as got, you're coming home. Like going out's fine. You know, as you're leaving, the cable spool goes out. Yeah. But when you come back, you got to have your, you have your kids. Kid. I mean, if you're, if you don't have no kids, then. Well, you can hire a kid. There's kids that are right. Tony, they got to be specially trained. The rhino, they got to take high a, voltage spooling of wires, right? Yeah, they got to take a course and they got to wear their seatbelt, um, a few other things, mm. and then to get an ID card from the state, I think. Mm-hmm. Right. I also uh, heard about another issue, not another, sorry, another enhancement of the EVs. Uh, I know that you guys had mentioned a couple in the last one, but they're developing a, uh, I think it's Toyota's, and uh, the, the cup holder, but they, they realized why do we. Why do we need cups for the cup holder? Just mm-hmm. put the liquid right in there. Right. So yep. it just automatically will just start filling up. Mm-hmm. It's refilling. Do you need a big straw? or You, you know, know, some people do that. Or you can but have the know, little yeah. tube that comes up to your mm-hmm. ear and little comes around. back thing. You yeah. Just kinda, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It? People do that, you know. But some people just like to get down there like a dog, you know. Just like, right. Well, you, you, know, you, use, yeah, exactly. you can Lap use your hand. Up. You just dip it in. Yeah, that too. Yeah. You know, just keep going back and forth I mean, yeah. yeah i mean sometimes i spill coffee and i mean you know why not i mean god gave his hands why don't you know can use that so but mm-hmm. where does the liquid come from I mean, do you have does it create liquid i mean is this power device able to take you stuff know, out of the air the and... luxury vehicles yes like a, that's that's a luxury feature otherwise you just they kind of have a like a canister um like a two liter that you just twist okay, in but it's not like a replicator you know, like star trek yeah star trek. no i mean well that's that's on the luxury gray, ones yeah right okay stood hot yeah so you say that i mean you got all this power so you can make anything yes. if you get the, the expensive luxury right. edition replicator right enhanced one they have like the new fe- one of the new features they have is a uh, aii you know like uh it's A-R- spelled ai and the eye like AI eyes. Uh, Wait, so like right. you just set a backup. You got this eye that can you know see far and wide and near. Is this a real eye? It's Does an they... AI artificial yeah, AI but... eye. Like, eye. 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 Where where did it come from? It... Where's the? Well, eye I mean, they from? created it. Like the people, the the company that. They did it. They so does the uh, AI make up what your eye might be saying? It's a if, smart eye, if you will, AI eye. Smart eye. Hmm. Is there a smart brain attached to it that registers what the eye is seeing, or is that your job? Do well, I, you, do the I have car, more work now as a driver? Is, the car is smart. No, I mean, he can see things and know things. You can shake it, and it can t- tell you things. Oh, so it, it, it's not attached. Like it's just kind of just rolling around. Yeah. What if I break hard? Is it going to? fly so to the if you break art if i break hard so know, does it seem like more it. than just what the eye can see is it like see through to your soul or something or see it sees through your soul tony through your soul yeah i don't know i don't think i'm seeing the vision here well that's not, that's why i mean it's, it's I beyond maybe, it's maybe that's why your intelligence maybe that's, it's, maybe that's it's why AI. Need it. yeah ai ai mm-hmm. maybe the ai will help me see it yeah mm-hmm. 
you just join us watching this, you know, we talk about important, Please serious issues of the day. Us for issue and night. why don't we get on to our <laughs> third set of issues, which wow. we like to call wow. Wow. this one. All right, wow. Let's see. Yeah. Cha -cha. Uh, really? The dance issues. So, Nick, what are we talking about when we talk about dance issues? Well, you guys know, as a youngster, I like to keep up on all the uh, up-to-date trends. And recently, you know, in this big push for equality, uh, they're they're looking to expand the uh, the line of uh, different uh, dances that we could do. You know, TikTok has taken all the dances and they're looking for more. And everyone loves salsa, right? Everyone loves both the dance and the food. And there's and you know my generation's thinking, why why stop at salsa? Mm. What about what about the ranch, the Ooh. hot sauce, the Ooh. the guacamole, the uh, uh, blue cheese, blue cheese? Yes, yes. Mm. Uh, I mean, what exactly? So, do you like big bats of of ranch, and do you dance in the ranch? Is I that mean, do you works? do that for the salsa? Well, that's a different dance. You know? Yeah, that well, this, these are you different dances too. Now, I, I, well, from what I've heard, it's uh, the dance. The name of the dance sort of characterizes well, what, how the dance is. So, like the hot sauce, you know, you're it's pretty spicy, but you know, you're going to regret it later. Well, the, you, the you salsa did start and, off pain. It did start off with people dancing in a bowl of salsa. Yeah, it's kind of and like... and people are like, I don't, I don't really like this anymore. Why don't we just do it without the without, salsa? Yeah, and and maybe we don't have to wash ourselves afterwards. So they That's they smart, tried yeah. that, and that that caught on. Mm -hmm. You know, the ranch. I don't know if we have to get back into the bowl and and dance in ranch. Um, yeah, you got to see what it looks like. You know, ranch is pretty fattening. That's going to drive a lot of people away. I don't think, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to get in there. I, there's heart conditions I got to worry about. And I just can't get in a bowl that big with ranch. I mean, a lot doctors, of lactose intolerant people. Well, too. doctors, yeah. yeah, and doctors say to stay away from it. You just, I don't know how well that's going to go. Hey, with. I, so are the, is the dance not safe for lactose intolerant people? I mean, do you have to be really careful? You know, I don't think there's been enough testing uh -huh. done on it. It's a relatively new trend. Huh. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that were to be a result. Right. Well, what's the other illness, Jay? So the FDA hasn't uh, evaluated these yet? No. I. Okay. You know, these trends, uh, it's a trend a week, a trend every two weeks. You know, they by the time that they get proper, you know, uh, training yeah, no. in, it, it's yeah. been months since th that was even relevant. You know, so unfortunately, we're just going to have to see what the results uh, uh, give mm -hmm. you know some some kids might end up you know with ranchitis i've heard mm -hmm. um it's when you just do too much of the ranch and well, kind of, what's you don't the get one the details, uh, but, i know there's lactose but then there's the other one jay the other illness that like you don't want to have stuff you don't want to get you don't want to eat it it's oh like, that's okay. like uh like wheat in that yeah you, gluten you, yeah gluten gluten Glu glumen celiac right Glu i guess i mean i don't know what's no, it's celi what is a celiac oh, I mean, what celiac is that? sounds like a sack that's celiac sounds silly different it's a silly yeah, sack that, i don't know where that celiac? came from it's, it's my fault i don't know what that means yeah. okay but uh i'm just saying like i think these that i don't understand I mean, there's also moves there's dance moves mm -hmm. of course you know yeah. There's so, like the the cabbage patch and the candy cane twist and the jelly roll and the butterfly and the biscuit roll. And yeah, well, are all we're, moves. we're we're talking about condiments but here. The, you know? Oh, yeah. you're right, Mike. The lactose intolerant people aren't gonna be able to do that da that one dance with the ranch, and then you're gonna have the or the, 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 yeah, the gluten blue, yeah. people yeah. can't get near any pretzel dance mm -hmm. or anything like that, I and mean, you know, and it's, it's not fair to them. There's no equity in this, in my opinion. You know, we just yeah. I think the, well, I mean, there's people with tomato allergies and cilantro version so i think that what they were just trying to do is at least get you, get each person one dance so that, the you ketchup know. dance is completely out for the tomato person yeah the, yeah okay. yeah but the mustard's the mustard's in as far as i know you know oh so i don't know what nobody's that, allergic to mustard do you know anyone allergic to mustard? mustard i mean there's a mustard seed it gotta be someone's gotta be allergic to some i mean everyone's allergic to everything right something it's one yeah, point in their life yeah i mean they're not saying everyone's gonna be able to do everything but no. someone's gonna be able someone's to do gonna be able to do something yeah. Okay. So is the ketchup and mustard dance pretty like every day? You know, I hear they go together pretty well. Oh. Um, Jay, what are you? You're well, really I'm confused. reading some of the comments. We have a comment like, is is there a mummy? Something like, did, did we miss some mummy episode? There, these, this looks like That's mummy. okay. So behind you there, uh, Jay Point. Yeah. This is obviously Tony, Jay, which actually looks like your son. And uh, <clears throat> who's that other one? Me. And then the, the, the mummy guy is like the, the random guest that we have. Oh, I that's, guess that's, uh, that's okay. Nick. That's like yeah. Nick today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thank you. we probably need to Come step to it up on issues because yeah. the audience seems to be getting bored and 
paying attention making to pictures but yeah while well, paying attention yeah. to what's behind us so um do you want some liver i think i'm okay okay all right why don't we get on to our last set of issues last uh of issues. for the day i forget my mouse over there uh this is uh the ever popular bubble hockey issue so if you have uh, ever visited a hockey arena or a local bar, you might see bubble hockey in there. There's there's a bunch of guys. Mike, do we have a picture shoot? No. I, oh, does it go away? What happened? Oh, you're okay. All right. It'll come back. We did have a picture. So uh, if we put, put it up, there's a bubble browser. hockey guys. These are hockey players that live in a bubble that can be manipulated by, um, by your like, mind, by poles and things like that. Um, but what we're finding out oh. is like there, there doesn't seem to be much justice in the bubble. There's um, there's constantly rule breakers. You you might have the puck. Someone might slash you. And what we're now discovering, Tony, there's no penalty box. Oh, there's just really so, no consequence. So if the guy with the long stick gets it up in the air <clears throat> and does a high stick, um, there's no consequence. Is that what you're saying? Well, he can't because he can run it up. He's the only guy that can run it up along the boards that can lift his stick, and when he comes around to center ice, that can whack you, and it has. My guy's been whacked several times. Him. Again, no penalty. You know what? Also, I discovered there's no ref. There's no ref no. to wow. call a penalty there. But, there's Jay, there's guys running the Jumbotron. You hear the guy talk. You know there's the crowd's there. I mean, you know... Someone's keeping the score. Someone's changing the score. So there's guys around. There are other people working there. See, this is the thing. I think when they came up with this game, they're like, all right, we're under a time crunch. We're like, get the, the, the bubble on there. Get the, get the Jumbotron. Get the guys. Let's program the Jumbotron. And, 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 and don't worry about the penalties. Just, just you know, they'll, they'll work it they'll out. They'll take care of themselves. Yeah. yeah, I mean, when they signed up to, for it, they, it, was, it was honor system. You know, it's like any pickup game. We're like, all right, we're going to play it clean. Mm -hmm. But we're it developed. Yeah, yeah, it developed into like a serious uh, yeah, multi-nation. They, I mean, when, they, when they went into it, they just had a bubble and a couple dreams. And this is where they're at now. It's bubble big, dream, it got bigger yeah. than their britches. And bubble dreams? Bubble well, dreams. The problem yeah. is, is, so if you're in Team Russia and you're playing the U.S., you're, playing, you're the USS or the CCCP team, and you're playing the U.S., it's very easy to get that stick up there and whack a guy. Like, for some reason, you can do so easier you can't penalties. Lift, you can't lift your stick. You, but, I, you can I mean, whack people, but you Mike, can't lift Mike, with the Soviets, stick. somehow it's easier. It's oh, really? easier to do, do penalties, to hook them, to, 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 to like, clutch and grab on you there. Just poke check like this, and then there's, there's, like, stick check like this, and then there's... You know, you go to the penalty box and you feel shame. But, 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 um, yeah, but, well, there's no they, penalty box, though. They that's, they set you that's, free. That, that's the issue. There is no penalty box. Oh, oh, where, right, right. You know, well, where the, we can't pull them out. So that's, what do you do if inhumane. you're on the honor yeah. system and you, you know, if you slash somebody? So to Mike's point, you can't maybe high stack, but you could slash somebody. And then you say, oh, you know, I, I just slashed the, the rush." But, you guy. know, the puck's still there out below you. No one can get it. You just keep on playing half the time. Well, you get it's, what people are doing. They're, they're trying. Now they're coming up with like like they're putting like little clamps on the guys, like little twist ties or little C clamps oh. on them. And, and it's kind of like a pen, like a boot you put on a car because yeah, you get wheel. parked on. Yeah, yeah, like on okay. the wheel. So the guy can't turn anymore. Like now that Soviet guy can't really high stick like he used to. You know, they, they you, know, you could lift the bubble a little bit. Kids don't do this, but get your parents, and you can lift the bubble a little bit, get that C-clamp on there, tighten it down, and, and then maybe that'll mitigate So he's, he's stuck there for two minutes or something? Yeah. With the boot? If, yeah, if, yeah, until someone remembers the, to get the clamp off if right. they can. Well, know. a lot of guys, too, are, like, they're trying to, be, they're trying to cheat. They're, they're taking, like, hair, and they're wrapping it around the guys, you know, where you know the the part underneath that moves. Oh, they yeah. throw it down they're, there. They're trying to throw like stuff down oh, there because the bubble is kind of hermetically sealed. You know, it's been like it's really there's not junk in there. You know, like there's no way to gum it up. But now they're they're somehow you know getting well, it kids are the putting gum on there. And we tell you, kids, like we watch those kids chewing gum by the game. That's what they do. They get take toothpick and get the gum they jam it you're right mike down there and and now the guy can't move you know my guy can't move it's and not really a penalty it's more like cheating i was gonna say who gets the penalty on that like well, again if, it's it's the honor system it's, it's you know. not it's not the player's fault though that right. the owner right. basically stuck gum in your opponent's right it's basically communism i mean you know you so, so should the owner get like a fine should they find the which owner the owner of the bar well the owner of the team that your whoever's team you're playing 
sure. They're not. It's communism. So they don't really have teams. They don't really have owners. I mean, they just, well, they f- just play. It's like a continuous pickup game. So if I'm playing Jay and he's got the Russians yeah. and he sticks gum under my, yeah. shouldn't he be fined? Well, there's no ref. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Fined? I mean, I, I, th- I think the league should fine him. I don't. I don't. I think there's fines in the league. Well, I mean, I mean is, it, it should I, be. I've heard I tell of a bubble gulag. Ooh. You know, they Ooh, send yes. the, you know, like you, you, you could, these, the bubble players can be replaced. It's very cold there. And, you know, they, listen, they, they might not get penalized on their first infraction, but if it's consistent enough, mm-hmm. there's, there's dozens of replacement players ready and they'll send you to bubble gulag. Mm. It's not a great place. Yeah. I, I mean, I really think that if Jay's gumming up my guys that, Somehow he should I'm not going, pay a consequence not doing, for that. Yeah. Um, here, here's the thing is, and again, because of the lack of refs Alice, and because the, the gulag has been inconsistent, now you got players who are they're they're actually like heating up the hands with, with like mini lighters. You know, you could get that lighter with a little blowtorch. So that blowtorch, you can get it on there, and then the stick comes out. So they're throwing their sticks. Like you know, I'm on a breakaway. And again, the CCCP guy threw his stick, you know, knocked the puck away. And again, no refs to call it. It's just lawlessness out there. You know, I put in 50 cents, and what am I coming away with? Just people throwing sticks and gumming up tracks and things like that. You know, it's not, it's not worth 50 cents anymore. You know, I, I think what we need to do is raise it a quarter. We need to pay for refs, mm-hmm. and we need to mm-hmm. just get the refs in there. And then we got to take the thing. Mike, we go back to the bubble. We got to, like – find maybe a place behind the net and carve out and and put like a cage there's room on the in there. side okay room on, that, yeah. room on the side so oh. put a cage in there so we can get a guy we cage have to the guy we have to unscrew yeah. him from his bolt and then put him in Move the cage over. there yeah and then maybe we'll have a hockey yeah, game. for the sake of the integrity of the game i think we need to do that i agree i mean so who's going to do that? I mean, who's going to make that happen? Well, the refs have to do it, Mike. The, the refs. There's no refs. Yeah, but we got to. We have to get refs. Yeah, we got to pay. The league's got to hire refs and welders well, and penalty box aren't the, installers. But aren't the CCP? Come on, can I can't play guys? Aren't they going to like want their own country to have their own? You know, ref, I mean, is it going to be cheating there? The picking of the refs. Well, there's home field advantage, you know. I mean, it's an ice well, rink. Mike, you can home actually have refs advantage. outside the bubble. So, like, there's always people watching. And you can be like, okay, do you want to be a ref? You know, we'll pay a quarter. And, okay, oh, I'm I the remember ref. those days as a little yeah. kid. Yeah. And then you get a socket set. So, mm. if you need to unsocket a guy and put him in the little box, then you can do that. You know, and you have the special security bits to get the bubble off and things like that. So, are these yeah. refs. Bubble sized or are they uh, human sized? Like we don't discriminate. Yeah, you can be either. You're you know. not allowed to discriminate Nick, about that. So you know, it's about equity. So that's next show. Jay. Okay, next show we're gonna talk Sorry. about that. Speaking of which, uh, we're out of time. So we just like to thank everyone in the comments and uh, just ask you to join us again for another edition of Issue Nine. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Thank you, uh, Buffalo Lifesavers, for being our – well, actually, we did have uh, – Nick, we had – we had Grace was yeah, we had Grace. So we did have your uh, sister and um, – Sarah texted me a comment. Okay. So. Does she know she doesn't participate? She did. <laughs> okay, so you just read it. I see what you said. Okay, fair enough. Um, all right. Thank you, everyone. We are uh, going to have another show. We are going to have another bubble hockey episode, uh, a little different uh, from what we talked about. And um, then uh, if I look at uh, Prob- what Probably else? not that different. Uh, Formula One issues, so with new... Formula One fuel regulations. We'll talk about that. Then a song review uh, based on the solar eclipse, uh, total eclipse of the heart. We'll go over that. And then um, lastly, if we get to it, new post office mascots. So someone else can talk. I I know nothing nothing about that last issue. Okay. Nothing about it. So perfect. All right. So uh, again, share us. Buffalo Lifesavers, 
Because, you know, share us with somebody else. You probably shared us. Uh, who else is here? Grace. You know, this is your brother. Um, maybe share one of your friends. Share one of your friends. Our show. <laughs> All right, we're about to start. Jay, what are we waiting, waiting oh, for? Him? Do you need to scroll? No, it's okay. You know what? Jay, no pressure. Uh, you're sure. looking for... Okay. I, mean, I got some. Okay. So All right. Okay. I see what you're working here. I see you're working the, the internet and, there. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. okay. So got it. Have, no, that's um, good. That's good. Okay. All right. So I think we'll be on that. Okay. Um, All right. We ready? Uh, I think we're ready. Okay. Uh, All right. Here we go. Next, next show starting. Okay. In three, two... One. And Jay, thank you for joining us for another edition of Issue Night. If you've never seen this show before, we talk about important and serious, pertinent issues of the day. Important issues you normally don't see in the paper, in the news. Um, I don't know if anyone watches television, but if you do, you What's don't see it there. Um, and uh, we also inform, we educate on the show as well. well um, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you. If you're participating, thank you again. And don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe. Um, we have a number of issues to get to, so why don't we get to our first one, which okay. we like to call. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, oh, I got to hit the one. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> bubble hockey after the ah. um, So, I, you know, Mike, I'm going to turn this over to you. Why, why is there equity? Why do we need equity in bubble hockey? Yeah, Jay, so equity is the word equal and itty. Look mm. up itty right now. Look equity. up itty. itty. Equity. What? Okay. Do you need the itty? or? Yeah, if you don't have the itty, equal? you just have equa. It's, so, it's a little bit oh. of a equal, like yeah. itty bitty. So basically, Spider. it's fairness, Jay. It's, you know, it's like what's good for you, it's good for you. And it should be good for me if it's good for you, even though it's not good for me, but you want it good for me. So we apply that to bubble hockey, Jay. Bit by bit. Bitty. Yes. Bitty. Bitty. Okay, Equity. so so we're lacking some type of fairness in bubble hockey. Is that what you're saying? Of course. Of course. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying, Jay. You do believe that. I just... Repeated what? No, no, you no. believe it. Well said, Jay. That's equity. That's well Jay, said. that's you got it. That's equity. It's like I have yeah. an idea, and I want you to believe it, and you do believe it. I believe. You what? better believe it. Oh, not an itty bitty. It's equity. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank Jay. you. Well said. So, so in bubble hockey, for example, these guys, Jay, these guys want to play. They want to play, but they want. They don't want their feelings hurt. Let them play. Let okay. them play. Let they want to. They want to feel special. Don't you want to feel special, Jay? Well, I, don't you want a trophy? I guess. Doesn't everybody want a trophy? I, I want That's a trophy. why we're all gonna get trophies. That's why they all get trophies. That's okay. equity. But you really don't. You put in the fifty cents. You play the game. Half the time it goes right to overtime, which isn't fair. There's no equity. That's there. why it's, then, they're changing it to undertime. I don't get a Jay. trophy. Like if there's a like a gumball or no. Uh, canister you know yeah. things you put in the court and, and if a trophy came out i think i'd feel better about playing that game but you know as it is i don't get that well no, no, there's no, like like you said there's no more overtimes you know they because that that implies there's a winner and we, right. we that that that's it's not under equal. time yeah, no. it's under time it's actually a, the goal is to get to a tie that's the that's the right. goal of the game actually you know? jade they've removed all scoreboards oh so the guy that we thought that you know runs the scoreboard but he isn't uh, there's no scoreboard. There's no score. No yeah, one, and, and the picture let me get there. that we have. Are they taking out the goals? Sorry. What? Are what? they taking out the goals? So there's no goal? Do you still score or not really? You don't need to. Well, when you score, you're, it just isn't counted because that, that hurt your feelings. Okay. Well, that might that be me <clears throat> pushing my goodness, my excellence on you. I think they should take the goals right out. Well, Tone, I don't even think it, you get to that point because the slots have been shortened, yeah. so you can't even get to the puck to shoot and try to score. Or Oh, or, actually, it's worse than that, Jay. Huh. They have a big piece of wood, plywood, behind each goalie. Okay, so, like, there's – you can't even get the puck in the net. Is that no, what you're saying? No, you can't get the puck in the net. I mean, but I, I could still, like – 
hit the plywood and say, well, if that plywood wasn't there, I would have scored. And, yeah. and, and that's a problem. And internally, you might mm-hmm. believe that. You might think, wow, I scored a goal. That's good for me. But, you know, yeah. like I, I, on the outside at the end of the day, no one scored any points. It's yeah. been a tie game the whole time. Yeah, Tony, Everyone's you equal. didn't score. Okay, that's the, mm-hmm. that's the thing. You may think that one plus one is two. Yeah, that, that's a not. hard issue on your part, Tony, thinking mm-hmm. like, you know, you scored even though there's a piece of plywood and the score still says zero. Like, that's probably a hard issue. That's I unequity, hard. Tony. That's you trying to portray, like, no, push your thoughts on other people. A friend of mine might have thought that. Hmm. You're changing your story, Tony, and that's what happens with equity. You know, you, you start thinking, <laughs> just raise your hands. Okay. <laughs> you, well, start, you start thinking that, you know, it's not really my idea. It's their idea. Yeah. You know, you start really. I read on. I think I he read it online somewhere. He. Yeah. My my friend oh. read it online that somebody might think that. So there's plywood. Mm-hmm. What what? But why even? Why even have goals? I mean, why? Well, because you want to perceive. Go ahead. Nick. Well, I was going to say they, they removed the scoreboard, so there there are no, no goals. scoreboard. There's no goals. But, but, I mean, there's nets. Why Why should we have a net? Why don't we just take the net off? It's the perception, Tony. People want to feel like they're doing something when they're not really doing anything. They want to feel like, you know, they, it's it's about good feelings, Tony. It's like, how can I make well, you? Well, you, know? you get there and you have nets. You're like, hey, I'm excited. I get right. to compete. But really, you don't get to compete. And yeah. by the end of it, you're kind of frustrated and realize well, like you're just never no that's just selfishness win, ever that's that's sure. not the right mentality to have mm-hmm. going in this is no you are here to support yourself but also each, each other everyone is winning Jay. What, what, well I, I mean that sounds good but then you know unfortunately people get so frustrated there's carvings now in the games yeah. and, and Ooh, graffiti on it and doing. spray paint and you know people are like flip so number of these over set them on fire you know just like, just got a black careful, market like, scored i don't know if they thought games. about like mm-hmm. the frustration yeah black market Yep. So they get people get bored because they can't actually score, and they it do gets carvings worse. instead. It gets worse, Tony. So basically, oh. they start with the you know the thing in the end. you know okay, it's kind of like the elephant, Jay. Hmm. It's just like that. Oh, I mean, so so you know when you have an elephant, you have him tied up, right? Mm-hmm. And as you do, yeah, and you tie him up. Well, you tie him up. The, you tie him with the chain. Yes, you do. You need okay. a you need a really strong thing, and the elephant tries to get free. From whatever it is, but he's like, "Oh, this chain, this chain! I can't stand this chain." If it could talk, and then, um, then actually, after a while, they'll change it to a, a really thin rope because they know the elephant realizes it, it doesn't even try anymore to get free because mm. it, it tried earlier. And it's like I can't do this. That's what they do with the people. So at bubble hockey, what they do, Jay, is they take all the net. After a while, they'll take the wood out, the nets out. They'll take the all the writing on the field out. They'll take everything out. It'll just be people standing. They'll take your sticks away, and then you'll just be there sitting in this arena and, and doing nothing. So it's an empty arena. Do you still have the slides like back you and forth? You still have the slides. Mm, okay. You still got to move, okay. you know, yeah. Yeah, to do other things. But you don't, do, you don't yeah. like score because you don't think you can. Well, you, you thought you could. You're excited about it. But to be equitable, you don't want people thinking they can. You don't want the perception that someone else can do something that you can't, right? I, I never like that. Right. So. Well, see, then you, you, you are thinking about yeah, equity. And, and you like can work a, on that, though. Work on that. One. And like I mentioned earlier, if you if you're not a fan, I know I've heard that there's some. Uh, I mean, I, I, me personally, I haven't heard this, but I've heard from Just other people. Just say what you feel, okay? Just you know what? Stay I'll, how say you what feel. I, I'll say what you're I. You're really holding yeah. back, Nick. There, there's an underground league with scoring, okay? And mm. I, oh. there's some black yeah. market. Is it under Malachi. the arena? I hear it's yeah, I hear their basements. Yeah, it's, oh, there, it's basements. in the basement. So, I see yeah, and yeah. you basement. know, I hear that some of the uh, some of the players that were really good mm-hmm. and in these official Guy leagues. Hm? Guy Lafleur. Do you know Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they Gilbert. 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 Yes. Mm-hmm. And I hear that they're 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 defecting the the bubble defecting. players are asking where 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 is this player? He's so good. The Fleur. Where is he? La Fleur. You know, that's where how you say it in yeah. Canada, I believe. Yeah, yeah French, yeah, Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's correct. Yeah, and yeah. there's where where where's this really good player? And he's gone because he went to the scoring league right. in the basement, and because he can't know. handle the equity. Yeah, no. So some people just can't adjust. If you just join us, you're watching us tonight. We're talking about important, serious <laughs> issues of the day. Uh, 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 Jay. Uh, Why don't we get on to our uh, next uh, issues, uh, uh, which just are called off 
Formula Run One issues. No. No, I guess I gotta get this out. <laughs> Tony, I have no idea what we're talking about, so maybe you can expand on this. Um, I'm not sure, so I looked it up. No oh, thanks. Um, so Formula One currently uses E10 fuel. Is that right, Nick? Yes. E10, which contains 10% renewable ethanol. While Formula Two and Three uses 55%, and uh, they're eventually going to go to 100% sustainable fuel so we've got formula one got formula two got formula three and then they're going to change all of them mm-hmm. i don't know if that's going to be 1a or how are they going to do that nick i don't know i i f- from what i just heard and i'm glad that you did a deep dive is that formula one is changing the formula mm-hmm. oh. and you know that I, i've heard that this formula had been around for a long time it's mm-hmm. a secret formula much like mm-hmm. kfc spices among mm-hmm. other things you know right but and they have They've had a shortage on formula. I know nursing moms had to get something exactly. else. Well, yeah, that's form- why they have to change formula. it. That's why they have to change it. You They're, know, there's too many formulas that are pulling from the same pool. Yeah, I mean, that's a it. bad yeah. look if you're putting formula in cars and there's babies who need it. So well, no, it's no, the no. same. It's, it's the same stuff. We're using stuff. the same stuff. It's the same stuff, Jay. Like baby formula. Really? Like the same? Wow. It is, it's okay. really good stuff. It really got a lot of energy the same i mean did you put in the car that the baby it's the same i mean what's the same well it's i mean if it's good for one it'd be good for the other that's think. equity tony different definition i mean they're called formula <laughs> one racers you know like they use formula who, so if, who it, is, if the baby does the no the cars the cars are you babies do too though yeah so i mean if, it, if it's formula in the name it's it's usable baby formula Put it in the car. I mean, formula. And that's why they have to change. Implies it's yeah. the best one. Yeah, they so, only the best. Yeah. I mean, it, that, that if they're going to change formula, it, is yeah. not going to be the best anymore. Is it going to be? I, I want mean, baby formula one. Well, well. So like currently, you know, since you know formula one's taken the cream of the crop, mm. you know that that Gerber, mm. like the, the the name brand mm. formula, you know, and mm. you know, uh, I mean, the, the the grocery stores are sold out. Right. You can't, and these moms need. Some formula and they just can't, you know. So they, they you know, the, there's been back, there's been backlash, and they're really trying to get off of this whole baby formula system and move into a more sustainable mm, sustainability. Yes, exactly. By 2026, is that right, Tony? 2026. Yeah. And yeah. do you know what this uh, formula is going to be? This quote unquote sustainable is it? It just says 100 percent sustainable fuel. It's new era of power. So what sort of formula might that be? Uh, I don't think they're formulating it, you know. Mm. So this is why there's a shortage because we have guys who are like, hey, we have new formula we need to put in our cars. They go to whatever BJ's, Tony. They get the best price there. And now, now moms don't have what they need because we're racing cars. Well, that's why we got to make sure we get more renewable stuff. So I don't know. Do you grow that, like from coconuts or something, maybe, or where do you? I don't think babies like coconuts, coconut no. milk. Um, so renewable but, means but it, it's good for it's sustainable. So I mean, they're just gonna have to adjust, I think. So, what would the effects of coconut milk have on a child? Are they just more tropical? Like, was that? Well, it's more sustainable. I mean, as long as we have tropics, we'll have coconuts. Why is why is coconuts more sustainable? I'm just trying to think of something that grows versus something that doesn't. You mean like uh, like a plant, like wheat? Yeah, I mean, or, I mean, what does it mean to be sustainable? I mean, is it like if I got? It means you can sustain it and it doesn't die, which pretty much everything dies. Yeah, nothing sustainable. I mean, well, they're also trying to tap the the secret formula uh, market, as I teased out earlier. So you know, the baby formulas. There's been backlash with that, of course, mm. but you know, going after you know, KFC has their signature 13 spices oh, that yeah. they use oh, on yeah. their uh, fries. You know, so they're so they're trying a- to use that as new formula. I've heard that um, it's it's gotten a little too spicy, a little too hot in the engine. But uh, so, what are some of the so, secret yeah. formulas? Uh, Coca Cola. Yeah, Coca Cola. Uh, local. We, I think we got the. Um, the secret sauce on the Texas Red Hots or the uh, Ted's, Red, Ted's, I think, has Red a Hots. secret sauce. Mm-hmm. Secret. Uh, yeah, so if there's a, a formula in the name, the car is designed to work with it. No. You know? Really? 
Yeah, it's it's quite. It's like a one of those fuel flex fuels type things. Yeah, you do baby formula or Formula One or Formula yeah. Two or Formula mm-hmm. Three. And the new newer vehicles are trying to move away from that baby formula. It's kind of like a blacklist or like if it's baby formula. Actually, they 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 blow up the car. They say you can't use it. Who anymore. blows it up? Big formula. Oh, the formula dudes. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. If you just join us, you're watching us, you know, we talk about important serious issues of the day. Why don't we get on to this may be our last issue. So let's get to our song review now. Sing song. Um, so um, we're going to review the song that's been playing a little bit during this, um, this solar eclipse. We actually had a total solar eclipse, and this song... Um, it's actually called Total Eclipse of the Heart. And um, we're just going to try to find out why it was playing, you know, especially during this time with the totality of the solar eclipse. So why don't we get on to it? Uh, again, it's uh, Total Solar, or sorry, Total Eclipse of the Heart. It says Turn Around. Although I don't know if this is sung. Like it says Turn Around, but it's in parentheses, almost like a command. Like, mm-hmm. you better do this. Turn, turn around. Turn around now. Turn around. Right. Don't now, look at the I, sun. I think that's like yes. a dance move. You got to. Right. Well, okay. it says every Spin. now and then, okay, no, Tony. Okay. Every okay. now and then turn around, though. Okay. Tony. Well, this is why. Because if there's an eclipse going on, you don't have your glasses. You have to turn around. You're not. Mm. Right, Tony? Is that the best thing to do? Like, turn around. Yeah, don't look, look at the ground. it. Yeah, yeah. So if, if you're not going to look at it, you probably should turn around. But, but this is eclipse of the heart, so we're not talking about a sun, to, Jay. We're talking about a heart that's floating in the air well, and I, going in front of. Uh, no, the moon goes in front of the heart. I don't know. Well, you can do heart damage. It's oh, oh! Eclipse. If you eclipse your heart, how would that happen? You're right, Mike. Would the sun in a total be, eclipse of the heart would be two hearts that would two or, hearts that would go in front of each other. That's like, about where this, the heart is. So, so do you, is the shadow... Does this cause you pain, Jay? Does this cause well, you... Well, if our hearts match exactly, I mean, that's what they're talking about. It's total eclipse yeah. of the heart means our hearts are perfectly matched and now you're in, your heart's in front of mine and it's casting a shadow of darkness and death and, you know, pain and suffering. Okay. I don't think that's what it means. I took no, it to I, mean no. the moon. No, I think, I don't think, I think you're looking too into it. Yeah. You know how English okay. teachers I mean, sometimes I got really... That from two song, I got that from one verse. I, I mean, like, you know, English teachers sometimes are like, you know, like, I look for what the author meant this. And really the author's just like, oh, they just had pink pants because they felt like it. You know, yeah, that's like, why I, I don't think, read. That makes sense. Mm. Okay. Well, so, Tony, what were you saying? No, I've, I'm just trying to picture the moon going in front of your heart yeah right? no it's this it's another it's heart sun? it's another heart say total eclipse of your heart i don't well, even got into that part of that song yet. people well, might be doing many it's eclipses not plural. here yeah it's it's they, a singular heart she might be this woman who's singing maybe trying to do a mini eclipse right now with either oh, the see. moon or the sun or both which i don't know if that's a good idea all right but she says if she turns around so she doesn't look she gets a little bit lonely not sure why. Uh, and she says, and you're never coming round. Well, because in an eclipse, Jay, you, it, it's got to go around the person. So you'd think it takes maybe it takes a long time for the heart to get around to the back. She just turned around. She saw the eclipse. She turned around, and maybe it never well, comes around. The moon around. goes all the way around the earth, so maybe. On the wrong camera. There maybe you got to keep, like, as the moon goes around, you got to keep facing the moon or not facing the moon. But okay. it's every 30 right. days, okay. right? That the yeah. moon goes around the earth, or, right? You get like a, like well, a new moon every or, day, though. Every day, every day the moon goes around. Wait, the, every day the moon goes around well, the earth. Well, no, but the earth is spinning, so well, it no, feels it's like locked. It. it's locked. Though this, the moon is like it's just no, it's, it's not. It is, yes, it's no? locked. Yeah. The, yeah, because you have the dark side of the moon that we can't side other side. It's always well, the fr- front face. Right, is it's always, always like, facing us, but yes. that's not like it's always, always the same side. over Buffalo. No. That would be no, it's yeah. not. But it, the same, the size is when it's going around. It's always right, right. So I don't know what that the, means. The, What's the, the point of that? I don't know why I said that. Well, I, I think it's relevant because so, if if that's the side that's bothering you. Yeah, I mean, you turn around, Jay. What? Well, what? here's the thing. You guys are making a good. We're making good points about we like, got where the eclipse. the eclipse is. But Buffalo Life Service is a good point. Like. Like in order for it to be a true eclipse, like her heart's got to be round. Like oh. it can't be heart shape, right, Tony? Right. I mean, you can't. Good point. Like the moon's not heart shape. 
But, oh. uh, well, but is it completely round or is it a little bit bumpy on maybe, the edges? Maybe mm-hmm. she's suffering from so, some sort of um, inflation, you know? Oh, like uh, infl- myo- not, myocardius? Not inflammation. Uh, not, uh, inflammation. inflammation. Myocardial, yeah, that's sorry, okay. inflation aware. Mm-hmm. So she could have that and that can make it round. Um, mm-hmm. Mike, do you mind going back to the lyrics? Oh, I mind, Jay. Um, okay. And now she says, turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit of t- little bit tired. It could be the inflammation there. Right. So okay. Oh, you know, right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, well, though, she does kind of clarify. She says, of listening to the sound of my tears. Mm. So I don't know if she's in pain. You know, there's like separation anxiety over the moon going around, but the moon's like there almost every day. That's a little strange. Yeah. You, you don't you know. want to be giving medical advice, though, Jay. Right. You don't want Jay. It's true. And you also, uh, so no. what? She, she's getting exhausted. Exhausted is the word she used. E-X-austed. When, when from, from crying. I think there's an H. That's why I said hosted. Uh, she's crying. I mean, she's t- continually crying. And so every now and then I get a little... Actually, she says only I get tired every now and then. So forget I said that. Let's scroll up, Jay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, all right. So she says, turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit nervous that the best of all the years have gone by. So she's been waiting all this time for this eclipse. Been so there, for the girl like you. One in 2017, and then now this one, 2000, what, 24? Four, huh? So she's been, she's, she's worried she's wasted the time. Like she's been looking for this eclipse and then trying to do a mini eclipse with her heart, which seems to be, you know, there's, there's a malfunction there, um, you know, or, or a misshape of her heart. Um, so I guess she's nervous that she's wasted years. She hasn't really done anything. It, is that normal, Nick? Should she, should she have been going out and trying to, you know, meet people? I think and... this song was written before um, dating apps had really come onto the scene. So, you know, nowadays, uh, unless there's an app for it, kids just don't know what to do. And so, I think that this was her attempt at communicating her feelings mm-hmm. to the people, just being like, "Hey, I want to eclipse my heart hey, you know, with you. You're an all star. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. you." I mean, that's that's what uh, the guy sings to her, mm. you know, to really make her feel validated. Mm. And, you know, so, uh, yeah, that's what I think about that. Okay. What are you doing, Jay? Sorry, there's there's a line where she said, because Nick said she doesn't, you don't know what to do. And she says that I don't know mm-hmm. what to do. And you, I, I do think I'm that the song. in the dark. I do think the song, now that we take a deep dive into it, could really just be a diagnosis of her heart inflammation what was the what was the name for it myocardial displacement i think it's where she heart lost is, her heart well it's displaced i mean it's not really lost it's, a, yeah. it's like a myocardial like, keys? like i well i mean left just, him in the yeah, like it goes somewhere else in your body right i mean i've never lost keys in my body Mike. i mean okay but i'm talking about your heart you're actually it's misplaced it's moving moving somewhere and it's hard to get an eclipse if it's moving. I mean, it's you know we can predict eclipses if it's going in a, in a you know predictable fashion. What do you okay, going you know? on Nick? What's what Nick said? So on this here, I'm just going down a little bit. It says okay. I don't know what to do. I'm always in the dark, living in a powder keg and getting giving off sparks. I mean, it, Tony, is that a good idea? Well, that's if, a bad combination. Can I yeah. can okay. I just say something though? I don't think she has anything to worry about because if you're living in a powder keg, it's sealed and there's no air and a spark wouldn't wouldn't. Uh, Oh, you don't think a spark would do anything? No. She's giving off sparks. She's just fearful of it, that it would, but she doesn't understand this. It's kind of like in space, you know, you really, there really is no, uh, there's no sound. There's no sound. So when the explode. TIE fighter explodes, there's really no sound. That Actually, when this silent. TIE fighter goes by, there's no sound, you know? It's, yeah. No, it's mm-hmm. not there, you know? Wow. You're not fooling me, Star Wars. You're not fooling me. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, no, it's I, like that. I, 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 I think to your point, you, she should be more worried about the lack of air. Hold than, on. I, yeah. want to, I want to do it again. <laughs> poo, poo, poo. <laughs> Love it. Sorry, Tony. Okay. Yeah. yeah lack, lack of air. I, I'd be more concerned with the lack of air if I were her. Maybe, in Fun. fact, maybe that's why she's having these illu- illusions, delusions. Yeah. Delusions. Delusions because she's lack of yeah, and oxygen. kids, if we see anything, stay out of powder kegs. Yeah. Like they look fun; they're like black. Maybe they that camphor kind of smells good, but just stay out of there. You know, I mean, look what's happening to this woman in the song. You know, she she thought it would be fun. It's not fun anymore. We need to get her out. 
Um, she, she, she and just, you know what? And she, like you said, she's sealed in it. And as you can see in the lyrics here, down towards the bottom, it says, "Once upon a time, there was light in my life." She was outside the powder keg, but now there is only love in the dark. She wandered yeah, in. She wandered in, keg, and she yeah, can't her, see yeah, anything. I mean, there's probably signs. Uh, Jay, you know, posts his warnings on on YouTube, yes. and uh, you know the signage and stuff, and mm. she bypassed it all and. Yeah, I'm part of a not-for-profit. We go around, we put warning signs on powder kegs all the time. We do, you know, we we try to get a registry of powder kegs and try to get those signs up. But you know, people still ignore them. It, it's just, it's just really annoying that we can't get people to pay attention to signs, especially just some you know hardworking groups and individuals trying. <laughs> Trying to make this, oh, you know, exactly. trying we, to make I'm this. I'm sorry work, to interrupt you, so. Jake. Can we just all do that? Can we just, can we just do tie fire spire? Can we all just work on your microphone when you go by and make that? And then someone's got to do this. Can you do the the? Ready? Ow, ow. I think the one person in chat we had, we just lost. So that's your wife, Jay. She's not going anywhere. Okay. I uh, I think that's about does it. Wait for the whole show. I think so. We didn't even get to have... the ref- we can give the refrain there. Oh, sorry. Do you want to get to the refrain? Don't we? Uh, okay. Uh, it says nothing. I can say a total eclipse of the heart. The total and that's of the heart. Really, what it is? If she lined up with the moon, right, Tony? I mean, it's it's. It, yeah, you got the, the moon, you got the sun, you got the moon, you got your heart. You have you an odd special, shaped heart. Yeah. She has. Yeah, so. You got the special heart glasses. Right. Oh wow, it's um, deep. To, you know, to protect the powder keg. Right. You know, right. Shielding, deep. and that's it. Yeah, I mean, last she in parentheses. I don't even know if she sings it. Says turn around, bright eyes. So now we're getting into some Fremen kind so, of. So the know, sun's coming. What does back that mean, Jay? Out. What's yeah. that word? Fremen, Fremen are the people in Dune that like lived on the planet and have like ate so much spice that their eyes turn blue. Oh. So you know, mm. it's. Um, have you ever had uh, spice, Jay? I, I've eaten it where my eyes get a little blue, but like not, sage not, or not s- like the Fremen. So or like no, it's 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 more like a, a brown sugar. Meat. It's more like oh, brown sugar, oh. a, a cinnamon, if you will. Um, I will. I, you know, yeah, right after set. I want to thank everyone for their participation. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, YouTube and off of YouTube for another video. <laughs> <laughs>